And in the Northeast, people are still dealing with the fallout from a recent storm. About 168,000 people in Pennsylvania and Maryland are still without electricity. Three long days and nights after an ice storm downed countless trees and power lines. Terrell Brown is here in New York with the latest. Terrell, good morning. Vanita, good morning to you. And that number's down from the 715,000 that were without power at the height of the storm. The local utility insists that they can have most of the power restored today. But for some residents in the hard hit areas, they could be in the dark through the weekend into early next week. An army of 3,000 utility workers from as far away as Arkansas are trying to get Pennsylvania back online. This week's ice storm toppled trees and power lines, leaving a quarter million people in the dark, the most since Superstorm Sandy. We're unable to cook anything without having electricity. Uh, no lights, no food. Bill Mangan is losing money each day as restaurant remains closed. He estimates the outages have cost him tens of thousands of dollars in losses so far. Did you think it would be this bad? We have um, had power outages due to thunderstorms, uh, even local construction, but no nothing lasting. It will be going three days now. Elsewhere, this winter's brutal back-to-back -back punches are causing other problems. Propane gas shortages in the Midwest, depleted supplies of salt and sand in the South, and in the Northeast, a new problem. Thousands of potholes. New York City has filled 65,000 this winter. In nearby Hoboken, New Jersey, City Supervisor Wally Wolf's road crews are racing to fill more than 100 potholes each day. This is a temporary patch that could last a couple of weeks and we'll be back out again. But in order to fix those potholes, it has to be warm outside. And boy, we've got a lot more winter to go. And just for this weekend, temperatures are expected to remain below freezing and more snow is in the forecast, Anthony Benita. It's endless. Terrell Brown, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah.